for hourly. As y'all can see, this red line that should have been resistance, they actually use it as support to bounce up off of and continue on. They create a pattern as they was doing this. So this will be a level one, this will be a level two, and we'll be heading into our level three and then a peak formation before the reset. So like I said, if it was to bounce off that line and actually continue up, it had to shoot up to hit its 200 EMA on a daily. And clearly this is what it do, what it has done. And we've been waiting for the 200, to hit to the 200 EMA for a while now. And as, also as y'all can see this previous support level right here, this orange line, when we made this drop, we didn't even come and touch it. We literally made a quick reversal back up just for a fake out. This is what they're doing. They're faking out. They broke off this pattern, you know what I'm saying? And then created another quick pattern and made a real quick move up just to hit the 200 in main. Like I said, we've been waiting for this for a while. That's all they really got to do left. And I'm pretty sure y'all already heard about the news about all these banks collapsing. And then why would the market skyrocket like this if the banks are collapsing? Y'all gotta pay attention. It's all a mind game. So anyways, like I said, we already expecting this hit to this 200 EMA. So I'm gonna show y'all on the weekly. Cause y'all see how this weekly candlestick is. Let me take this drawings off so, so I can see it better. So clearly, do you see this 50 EMA is literally right on 100 EMA. 20 EMA is already below the 100 and that has never happened before. So I mean, it's already looking really bad and then 50 EMA is about to be under 100 EMA with one easy move, you know what I'm saying, at any point in time. So basically, we recover that candlestick we come up here, we may come all the way up here to recover this candlestick and round just below 30,000 for a max out. And then we don't get a major reversal. There's no more EMAs we can really bounce off of. We can we reverse? They had to recover this whole candlestick within, you know what I'm saying, within one candlestick. So nobody get no money off of basically and catch everybody off guard. So our next support level will be around 16,000. Basically where we just started before we made the super run. And we can still break through that now, you know what I'm saying? But that's our next support level, basically, once we do. Make a reversal all the way from 30,000, so that could be a quick, you know what I mean? Like a 50% move of the market really fast. But of course, it'll continue on lower and lower and lower. Put a drum back on. Like I say, 16,000 after that, we look at around 11,500. If we break below 11,500 after the 16,000 drop, and we come around 10,000. If we come around 10,000, we could easily flush and just recover it all the way down to 5,500. And then we make a quick reversal back up. Because a low of this will be 5,500 before we even make a reversal, I mean, you know what I'm saying, to indicate a markup phase. So, yeah. So, long story short, like I said, we're looking for around just below 30,000 for a max and a quick reversal all the way back down to around 16,000. Then after that, another drop to around 11.5. Or a complete rush to 5,500. So, like I say, y'all pay attention to the news because y'all clearly see the markets is doing the exact opposite of what you would think if the banks are collapsing because I'm pretty sure the banks have the money. But anyways, anything I just said is not financial advice at all. Y'all grown, y'all make your own decisions, but like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.